the MD-2 ships with a lightweight protective carrying case. On the front is a zipper lock with a three-digit combination by default set to 000. Press in to open the lock. When you unzip the case, inside you'll find the MD-2 stabilizer, two 15mm rails, the battery, battery charger, wall mount adapter, low angle shooting bracket, user manual, and warranty card. Begin by installing the battery. The battery connects in the rear of the device, facing the user, behind the cradle. Next, set up your DSLR camera. First, mount the quick release plate to the bottom of your camera using the appropriate included bolt. Keep rail fixtures facing the same direction as the lens. Slide the plate into the MD2 cradle from the front and tighten in place. The MD2 is a three-axis stabilizer, controlling pitch, roll, and yaw of the camera. The next step is to balance the camera. The first step in balancing the MD2 is adjusting the forward and backward position of the camera in the cradle. Hold the MD2 to the left of the camera, keeping it from rolling left to right, but allowing the camera to tilt freely. Next, tilt the cradle up to 90 degrees. Move on to adjust the height at which the camera sits in the cradle, still keeping it from rolling left or right with your left hand. Adjust the height of the cradle. The camera should point at 0, 45, 90, and 135 degrees with no movement. The next step in balancing the camera is to adjust the roll axis. The goal is for the camera to stay balanced in the center of the axis. Use the screw underneath the base plate of the camera to adjust left or right to compensate depending on which way the device leans. Finally, adjust the balance of the yaw axis, or the pan. Lift the MD2 on its side. Adjust the forward and backward position along the base bracket of the MD2. The back bracket of the MD2 should rest evenly and return to the center when released. After these steps, the balancing process is complete. The MD2 can also automatically compensate for small imbalances in the cradle. Hold down the button under the right index finger and press the power button once. When the MD2 begins to turn, release the right hand button. The self-balancing function has initiated. Now the MD2 begins to analyze pitch, yaw, and roll imbalances to determine automatic adjustment. Once it finishes, turn off the device. When powered on, the MD2 is by default in lens lock shooting mode. No matter which direction the handle turns, the lens direction is locked. The left hand joystick controls pan. The right hand joystick controls tilt. 
Under the left index finger is a wheel to control the speed of both pan and tilt. To briefly go into follow mode and pan movement, click and hold the left joystick down. To lock the new shot angle, release. To briefly go into follow mode and tilt movement, click and hold the right joystick down. To lock a new shot angle, release. Clicking and holding both joysticks down allows the MD2 to go into follow mode for both pan and tilt. Another way to go into lens follow mode is by using the button under the right index finger. Click once for pan follow. Double click to enter both pan and tilt follow. Click once again to lock the angle. Using the pan joystick and clicking the right handle button simultaneously allows the MD2 to continue panning at a constant rate. The speed of the pan can be adjusted using the left hand control wheel. This can be very useful when mounted on a tripod to get very smooth panoramic shots. Included with the MD2 is a low angle shooting bracket. Attach the bracket under the MD2 using the included bolts. In lens lock mode, the angle of the camera does not change. To switch to lens follow mode, use the left handle button as before.